a little bit different than war versus peace. What I believe is that presently, we all look at war as a war machine. And we know it, we, we understand it, we are starting to see in movies like War Dogs that right off the bat we learn that every soldier costs $17,500 just to get him out the door, whether it's guns, shoelaces, air conditioning, whatever it costs. So we're starting to understand, just in our casual daily talks, what it costs to put a soldier in the field. And we're starting to understand that we've crossed the tipping point in, in economic flux of war, that war is now creating an ep economic drag on, on our global economy. So what then? Do we really continue to battle? Is it war versus peace? Or do we understand that we could have war and peace? that we could consider peace as an economic machine of its own accord? Could it be separate? Could peace be an economic machine? So far, peace has been something that we leave to the NGOs. Peace is something that's just like, hey, peace. Or we see a couple of guys in, in suits. Maybe not this guy, but a couple of guys <laughs> who sit in chairs and they just talk about peace. What is peace? Does peace begin with the individual human? Is it taking your shopping cart back? Is it letting someone out in line when they're trying to get into traffic? Maybe they have somewhere to go more important than you. What is peace? Peace is an action. What action? I imagine that peace could really become an economic machine running right alongside war, separate and profitable. To me, peace is something that we can imagine as a separate machine. What would that take? Is the peace core really a peace force? I believe that it could be. If we think about it in partnership with other things, what is happening in global governmental spending? Are we just throwing it at nations in need? Or is it being put in and then is it being monitored? Is it, does it have on the ground legs? If it doesn't, why? How could we do that? Are we looking at when all of these refugees coming into the countries, is there any system set up for us to know what these people do. These aren't just people who were in the streets, these were people with jobs, engineers, doctors, nurses, workers, laborers. These are people that could be put on the ground. Where, how? I have ideas about that. Do you? We think about what is happening with um, um, corporate funding. Every corporation has to spend a certain amount of philanthropical cash. It's what's happening now, it's the way Corporate spending goes. For your tax purposes, you have to spend a certain amount of philanthropical spending. Are we, as governments, recommending where that corporate spending could go? And so, if so, are we considering matching funds? That money that we're throwing at countries, are we considering it throwing in together with these corporations? And then, are we considering spending our peace, sending our peace force in to see where that money goes? And if so, are we considering Hey, could those refugees go there and be a lead team? Are we considering that those refugees could be well-placed in places of need? Are we considering an active peace force where we take all of our problematic ideas and maybe, oh, light bulb, maybe all these things go together and they're not a problem. Maybe they're a solution. Are we considering peace as a force, peace as an economic machine? Not peace versus war, but peace running alongside war. Peace as a profitable concept. Peace as an economic solution. Thank you.